Take the wheel off, use a 19 millimeter socket. Take the wheel off. You're gonna pull the push pins out. Just use a trim tool or a push pin tool. Take the inner fender well out. And some screws over here, we'll take those out. Take these screws out, use a T20 socket. There's a screw right here, take that one out and also the push clip. This just comes down. Take this screw out here. And this one. Now the inner fender well will slide right out. Slide that out. Pull this shield down, use a seven millimeter socket, take the screws out. And grab the shield and slide it down. Now I'm gonna use an E14 socket. It's basically a negative Torx. And we're gonna loosen the tension on the tensioner right here. You can take the belt off while you have that loosened up. And then before I let go of the tensioner, I'm just gonna use an Allen key and just slide it in there. There's a little, a little uh, piece of metal in there that's gonna keep the tension on the spring. Use the E14 socket, take this bolt out right here. Take that off later. Disconnect the connector on the mass airflow sensor. Just move this lock tab back and just use a small pocket screwdriver. Push down on the tab, slide it out, and then just grab the harness, slide it up. Loosen up the worm clamp right here. Just use a straight blade screwdriver. And slide that apart. Take these screws out. And slide the air box off, out of the way, pull the air filter out. Pull this hose off the air filter box, just slide it forward, and then just grab the air filter box, slide it up, and we'll slide it out of the way. Underneath the vehicle, I'm gonna use a floor jack, and I'm just gonna use a block of wood, just so we don't ruin anything. And get underneath the oil pan. You wanna get close to the edges of the oil pan, not too much in the center and just lift up on the motor slightly. That should be good. Now remove the mount, use a 15 millimeter socket, take these bolts out. And this nut right here, all 15 millimeters. Just want to raise up on the engine a little bit more just to take some of the tension off. There we go. Now the tension's off of the mount. 
I take these three bolts out. Use a 15 millimeter socket. Take the bolts out, grab the engine mount, slide it out. Take this mount off, use a 15 millimeter socket. And there's three bolts holding it on. One in the back here, one underneath. And one in the front right here. Those are all loose and just slide it up and out of the way. Now we can take the belt off and slide it out of the way. We're gonna use an E14 socket. Take this bolt out right here. And slide the tensioner out. Slide the tensioner in place, get that started. Make sure it's lined up down below. You could get that bolt started down below. Let's take that bolt, get it lined up, and just started. I'm gonna to torque this bolt to 41 foot-pounds. And the lower bolt is 16 foot-pounds. Slide the belt over the crank pulley, then around the tensioner, around the alternator, and then around the AC compressor down below. Just have it off the water pump for now. Just hold it there. Then take your E14 socket, go on the tensioner, and take the tension off the tensioner, just like you're tightening. And slide the belt over the water pump. That's good. And then you can take that pin out that you put in there, and you're good. Make sure you check the ribs of the belt. Make sure they're around all the pulleys correctly, and those look good. I'm gonna slide this mount in place, get the bolts started. Hey, make sure those bolts are tight. Now slide the mount in place. Get all the bolts started. If you have to, you can raise up the engine a little bit, with the floor jack. down. At this point, we can lower the engine down so the engine weight's down. Or just lower it a little bit. And tighten it down. Now we can lower the engine completely. Take the air box, line that up. We can slide this hose in place. And gently push down on the rubber grommets. Just like that. Push that hose in. Put the air filter in. Take the air box, line this up. Now tighten the screws down.
tighten the worm clamps down. Just snug it up. And don't forget to tighten this one down as well. Connect the connector for the mass airflow sensor. Lock it down. Slide that wire in that retainer. And just put this lower shield in, get it started. Tighten these down. And put the inner fender well in. Line it up. So we go underneath here. Line up there. Get all the push pins started. And push those in. Some up here. And put the bolts in. Get those lined up. underneath, get those started, and tighten those down. Put the wheel on, get it lined up. Put the lug nuts on. Now we're going to torque the lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. And just go around again, double check.